Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 jobs that won't exist in 10 years. Let me give you guys some free career advice. Do not get any of the jobs we're going to list on this video. The reason is because technology is changing every day and changing every industry. Of course, some jobs will be there in 10 years, but a lot won't. So whether you guys are between jobs or in school, educate yourself and know what jobs to get and what jobs not to get. But first, help me keep my job by subscribing and pressing the notification bell too. Coming up first we have Truck Driver. Truck driving is a very popular job that a lot of people have. You don't need a ton of degrees to do it and it doesn't pay too badly. In the USA there's around 20 million truck drivers. But those numbers have been dropping off every year and will continue to do so more and more. So why are all these jobs in truck driving being lost? Well it's due to one thing, automation. Are things now being delivered by drone like Amazon wants to do? Well that's not the case and it won't be even in 10 years. However, self-driving trucks are becoming more and more mainstream. In November 2017, Elon Musk unveiled a new Tesla Auto Semi truck. This self-driving truck is totally electric and it requires no human being. And amazingly, the truck will cost less than $50,000. Companies figure why pay someone $50,000 a year when I can spend it once on a truck and keep it for 20 years. So unfortunately automation is going to wipe out a lot of truck driving jobs. And presidential candidate Andrew Yang actually says Americans should fear this more than anything. That's simply because such a huge number of Americans drive trucks for a living and soon they won't have that job. Next up is referee. Everyone loves watching sports. Maybe when you were younger, your dream was to become a professional sports player. After all, that is what a massive percentage of kids say they want to do when they're older. But as many of them will find out, it's incredibly tough and competitive. So maybe you think it would be easier to get a job in sports as a referee or umpire. Well, sorry, but in 10 years, those jobs will be no more. You see, the thing about human referees is they make mistakes. But a robot or AI referee simply wouldn't. It would be way too precise and will be able to see exactly where any ball lands. No more disputes about bad, biased or corrupt refs. Also, players will never get argue or physical with a robot. Not only that, robots are not influenced by a crowd, opposing players or coaches. In professional football, they're already using cameras to see if the ball goes offside. And the same is true for tennis, as it was used in Wimbledon this year. So if you thought refereeing would be a cool job, then sorry, but that job will soon be a thing of the past. Next up is Social Media Expert. You may be saying, Charlie, social media is taking over the world, if it hasn't done already. So why on earth would Social Media Expert not be a job in 10 years? Well, don't worry, social media isn't going anywhere. Instead, it's because social media experts will be replaced by everyday individuals. The next generation will grow up with social media completely ingrained into their life. Think about it, the average five-year-old nowadays knows how to use an iPad. This means social media will be within human nature more or less. You won't need any special training or expertise as it will be so second nature. Already we're seeing very young people take off all by themselves on social media and get huge. For example, rapper Lil Nas X who made the song Old Town Road started off on Twitter. He used the platform to boost up his music and it's now made him a multi-millionaire. Next up is Pilot. In 10 years, things like self-driving cars, trucks and trains will be normal. But have you ever thought about a self-flying plane? Chances are you haven't, as there's none commercially available right now, but they are the future of air travel. You see, pilots can sometimes make mistakes and cause plane crashes. But AI is much more refined and makes way less mistakes. Of course, not everyone's going to get on board with the idea of pilotless planes right now. But for most of a flight, planes are in autopilot anyway. And let's be honest, humans adapt to technology pretty well. Boeing have actually already released their autonomous aircraft. And they say that within the next four years, it will be commercially available for airlines to buy. This will apparently bring down air travel costs. And it will also cause less incidents in the air, like plane crashes. Think about it, aeroplanes have been the same for a very long time. While everything else like cars and buses and trains change, aeroplanes do not. 
But in 10 years, many expect that self-flying planes will be pretty commonplace, at least in the USA. Next up is Factory Worker. If you live in a manufacturing town, chances are you've seen at least one factory closure. Well, that's because factory jobs are decreasing, but not worldwide. The reason why these jobs are going away is for two reasons. The first reason is the American economy. Nowadays, many companies are relocating to countries like China or India where labor is much more cheap. And another reason is automation. Nowadays, factories can make things cheaper, faster, and more efficiently than humans. This means many factory owners see no need for humans, so they simply use robots instead. So unless you happen to be watching from China or India, sorry, but if you have a factory job, that may be going away pretty soon. Next up, we have Taxi Driver. When's the last time you took a taxi? I wouldn't be surprised if you couldn't remember, seeing as apps like Uber are so commonplace now. Uber is now much cheaper than taxis and syncs up with smartphones. This means the days of hailing down a yellow taxi are long gone. In London, many taxi drivers recently protested against Uber. However, this led to a 25% spike in Uber downloads. And even if Uber didn't take over from taxis, chances are self-driving cars would anyway. Along with the jobs of taxi drivers, taxi dispatchers are also going too. We no longer need a middleman when it comes to ordering a taxi. Now we can simply pull out our phones, go onto Uber or Lyft and do it ourselves. Next up is cashier. I'm sure many people's starter job was a cashier of some form. Maybe it was in a supermarket, or a convenience store, or maybe a fast food restaurant. Well, no matter what the location, cashier jobs are going very quickly. If you walk into many major McDonald's, you'll be greeted by a screen instead of a human being. You then pick what you want on the screen, pay for it, and it's then served up to you by a cook. The same is true if you buy something at the supermarket. If you've only got a couple of items, chances are you'll do it yourself at the self-checkout machine. Wow, it seems all these jobs that are disappearing are becoming our jobs. You have to arrange your own taxi, check out your own items. Although it can be pretty good if you're buying something embarrassing. But even if self-checkout machines don't completely take over from all cashiers, then things like Amazon will. Nowadays, people are even using Amazon to buy things like fresh groceries, so cashiers are going to go very quick. Next up is Telemarketer. That's right, those people who call you up trying to sell you insurance or anything else under the sun will soon not have jobs. But if you're happy about this, then you shouldn't be. You see, just because telemarketing jobs won't exist doesn't mean we will stop getting telemarketing calls. Instead, these people will simply be replaced by robots. Now that AI can understand exactly what you mean and give you a good response, we no longer need human beings. So, we'll still get those very annoying phone calls, but we'll have to hang up on a robot instead of a human being. I guess on the bright side, you'll feel less rude when doing so. Next up is Postal Worker. It used to be fun to get an email and a real drag to get a letter in the post. But now things are different. It's a drag to get lots of emails, and it's fun when you actually receive a handwritten letter. But when's the last time you wrote or received a handwritten letter? Chances are you can't remember. And I hardly need to explain why. There's texting, phone calls, social media, and email. Now all I get in the post is adverts for local pizza restaurants. People don't realize this, but thousands of postal jobs are disappearing every year. Also, when it comes to packages, private companies like UPS and FedEx are taking over. But UPS and FedEx workers don't think you're safe. Amazon, for example, are trialing out drones to deliver packages. So in 10 years, we may order something and a drone will fly and give it to us within hours. That sure will be handy, but it will also result in a lot of lost jobs. And next up on the list, we have Farmer. Jobs in agriculture are very important and always will be. The reason why the farming industry is mentioned in the news so much is because it's the lifeblood of many countries. Most countries export a lot of produce. And obviously farms literally feed the world. But many farming jobs will disappear within 10 years. And that's because technology is taking over the industry. Nowadays people are using tech to produce more yield. Also farming used to be very tiring long work. But if you have robots doing it and not people, it doesn't really matter. Also, many are complaining about the environmental damage caused by farming cows. That's why some scientists are now lab-growing meat. 
So in 10 years, farmers might resemble scientists more than anything. So guys, those were some jobs that won't exist in 10 years. Check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the disappearing job you found most surprising. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for?